Hi Sagittarius, how are you? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date, they are divinely guided, everything has free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody and please keep in mind that the roles could be reversed between you and your person. And with that said, let's dive in. Let's see what the universe has for you. As you guys know, all my readings are general. So of course, not everything is going to be resonating with all of you. Take whatever it does and leave out whatever it does not. With that said, let's see. So we have the ace of disc which is earth signs we got taurus virgo capricorn we have the fool which is aries energy here let's see what else we have here we got virgo energy as well um okay we got the six of disc which is earth we got a pisces with the moon we got a cancer Pisces and overall energy we have the princess of disc which is earth and at the bottom we have your energy which is Leo Sagittarius energy as well so it's giving me right here that somebody has been manifesting you Sagittarius it seems to be somebody's been uh, manifesting you for a minute and they have always or for a minute uh, they have actually have the intention of coming around uh, this could be you know a past lover or somebody in who you could have like a missed opportunity with Long story short, uh, it seems to be that they're coming back or they're coming over with a different with a different offer. Um, I see them giving you a gift and um, or wanting you to give you give you a gift. This could either either or be a physical gift. This could also be uh, for others to view a spiritual gift. But it's coming around. Um, it seems to be that they have been like I was saying manifesting you for a while but they were going through a lot or something in their life or it could be their family as well was actually holding them back. And all they could do is uh, think of you and manifest you, but in a way to perform, something was on the way that was like actually holding them back from coming forward and, you know, talk to you or tell you what's happening or in a way to perform, manifest you. Now, with the six of disc and the moon right here, it seems to be that they've been watching you, your profile. It seems to be that they could have been spying on your social media. Of course, if you don't have social media, then this part is not for you, but... For those who have social media, this person um, has been watching your stuff. Even if you block them, even if it was the other way around, they could be watching you from a fake account as well for others to view. But they've been watching your social media. If you did uh, post a recent photo, like, you know, you changed your look, your hair or something, they definitely liked it. Now, it seems to be that very, very soon this person is coming back with a love offer. This represents the messenger. So you may have a text message. You may have a phone call. This could also be like an online, like, you know, online. Some of you could be an email, but this could be like a DM or some of some sort that's coming from them. Princess of this right here, it seems to be that you have been um, waiting for them or waiting for some sort of communication because you're about or you were about to let go but it was something in your energy that perhaps was telling you to wait a little bit longer so it seems to be that you are gonna get what you've been wanting for a minute now this is right here a lot of passion in between you two i see chemistry i also see distrust maybe you don't trust this individual but it seems to be that this person changed their ways we got the seven of swords in the viewers i know that they could have been a player in any way you perform that you want to call it but it seems to be that this person has changed this person um hasn't done a small change it seems to be like this person has legit not only transformed but mature as well Let's see. Why is this person coming back now? Why are they coming back now? Let's see. We got the king of wands. This person could have brown hair, a beard. Others of this person could, if it's a female, could have long hair. It seems to be that they did some highlights on their hair. The world. Queen of Swords and Beavers. The hair font. So it seems to be that I feel like you guys ended on a bad note because I see both people here full of regrets and full of pain. I feel like, you know, you guys did end on a bad note. Um, this could have been because they ghosted you or something wasn't right, you know. But it seems to be that this person has never stopped looking back or looking at your stuff. Um, oh, let me see. Let me see. It seems to be that 
your person um, has gone through an, a spiritual awakening um, of some sort. Like I said before, I know I repeated that, but sorry about that if somebody's mad about that. But um, they have been going through an awakening. I feel like, you know, we all go through the consequences of our, of our actions and your person definitely did that. And they have been thinking about things a lot. They have been focusing on themselves and focusing on whatever spiritual path they have chosen or have discovered. With the Five of Swords, that opened their eyes to what their actions were, not only towards you, but perhaps towards other people, right? And I see a lot of people, I see a lot of people like that they did hurt. And it seems to be like they actually have issues sleeping because they're, um, not only their conscience, but also I see guilt in their energies. Like they feel very, very guilty. Now, right now, it seems to be that with the world right here, it's a whole new chapter. I know that you have more control over your energy. You have more control over your thoughts and emotions. Um, and I feel like you don't hold any resentment. I feel like you did in the past. But, you know, you're grown. You have matured. And that is all about, you know, healing. When we truly heal, we don't hold any resentment, any any anger. We don't have to defend ourselves in the comments, you know, of why you are not going to come back. Like, you are an adult who have free will to do anything you want. So, for those who did heal completely, it seems to be that you have control, like I said before, over everything. I feel like you have discovered something about you as well. This could be spiritual-wise. I feel like also, besides the note, right, some of you... Uh, the color um, orange looks very good on you. Orange, yellow, and gold will bring a good will bring a lot of luck, a lot a lot of good luck. So, I will definitely try to pair you know some you know gold earrings or you know jewelry in any in any way that you could because it seems to be that the color orange and the color in the gold colors and jewelry and all that um, looks good on you. By the way. This is definitely either or your divine masculine or your divine feminine. It seems to be that you guys had this childish game in the past. Childish energies was surrounding you and this individual. And it seems to be that it was the lack of compromise. It was the lack of communication. Also lack of, you know, honesty and lack of like commitment. But it seems to be that all of that is completely over. What kind of transformation this person did? What happened to this person during the separation? I feel like they actually got very uh, called out. I feel like I said before, because your person could have been a player, they got called, uh, called out. And also they made a very bad reputation for themselves. I also see a Libra here, very bad reputation here. They created a very bad reputation for themselves. And uh, hold on. As I said before, and it feels like they didn't like how they were projecting themselves to the world. They didn't like this is also because of, you know, self growth. They mature, you know, within years we change. So it seems to be that they didn't want to continue like this. It could also have a very scary um, situation or experience that they led them to realize that the way they were going with life wasn't correct. Excuse me. I see Taurus energy. Also Leo energy for some reason. But uh, with the hangman right here. It seems to me that they were in a moment that they needed some somebody's help. And they realized they were alone. Like because you know they were actually playing a lot of people. And not really appreciating people's time. Not really appreciating people's friendship. Not actually wanting to make important connections. Something happened in their life and they realized that you know by doing this they were loners and they're like oh my goodness like i cannot continue like this because you know i'm actually being per perceived in a way that i i don't like also this could be also uh his mom or her mom found out or something and it's like oh you know i'm making my family look bad you know so something like down those lines And with that said, they started thinking about you. If you guys had a relationship, right, let's say, they realized that you did a lot for them with the Six of Swords in the reverse. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. Um, you did a lot for them, and um, they did not treat you how you deserved it. And they're like, damn it, you know, like I treated the only person who was truly there for me like garbage. Um, I'm a horrible person. So again, 
something happened in their life this could be a really a scary experience this could be something real like an illness that they went through this could be a death scare or something like that you know things happen in life that got them to be like oh my goodness i can't i can't continue like this you know with the four of discs right now in the reverse i see like they actually stopped talking to the other sneaky links that they couldn't have they started actually you know working on themselves like i said before focusing on what's important and you know starting to make good connections you know friendships actually reconnecting with some family so i see like your person has you know completely completely changed this is for multiple reasons but yeah this is what they've been doing in the separation and with that said they were actually preparing and waiting for the right time to come towards you and offer you an apology an explanation and they want to give you something as well what is this person's feelings towards Sagittarius please and thank you what is this person's feelings towards Sagittarius please and thank you spirit let's see they do know that you may not want to talk to them with Pisces energy right here uh, Aries and Leo energy as well Sagittarius they, they know that you may not want to talk to them but they feel like something that they must do um, more than a sacrifice it's a risk that they see is worth taking they know that you're not going to welcome them with open arms because they know how you feel because they know what they've done to you please and thank you a couple cards at a time please But they want to show you a whole new perspective they're like you know what if you let me show you i can show you that i do mean it that i can be the person you want and perhaps if you don't want a relationship with them they're more more than happy to have a friendship with you a friendship with you as well they don't want to rush things here they do have feelings but they're not going to tell you that right away because like i said before they know how much uh that they, they know they're walking on thin air and thin ice you know so they're like you know what let me just not overdo it because i know the reactions like i'm sure she or he is not going to you know so they're not wanting to rush it whenever they come around but they do have feelings but they're not going to tell you that right away as they know you know they kind of like floor they're walking let's call it like that with the prince of source right here but i see somebody making uh small efforts to gain your trust uh to gain access back into your life if you allow it um with the sun right here this person definitely wants to make you happy leo energy they want a whole new beginning with you with ada because they want you to in a way to perform you know with their actions to forget about the past they can so they can show you that they can actually give you all the love that you really deserve with the empress right here libra energy this person may if you allow it and you guys go out on dates or so this person will actually oh my god as i say look the ten of cups at the bottom this person will definitely ask you to marry them um you know you guys could go into higher levels of commitment like this once again because this person definitely wants to take it up a notch you know but they do they do see you as wifey hubby material I know it could be late for some of you, and that's totally fine. You don't have to take this individual, but for those who may still have feelings for them, um, this looks good. I know, it's itchy. So, what was the purpose of the whole situation? It was for both of you to find yourselves. So for both of you in a way to find your worth because your person did not know their worth they were like very self like self-conscious and also for them to see your worth and to see what kind of person you were and what they were missing also for you to discover new passions new hobbies to also work on your self-worth to uh, self yourself set yourself free from past patterns and to actually stand up for yourself and create some boundaries and to be very firm about those boundaries so you will not let anybody step over those and last and least the lovers right here gemini energy for you guys to come back again and actually come back as the partner each other deserves because you deserve that 
the, the kind of partner you're gonna see. You know the kind of partner you want. So this person knows and now is the person that you deserve and the same way goes back to them. Because I don't see codependency in your energies anymore. I don't see that you, and keep in mind when we talk about codependency is when we are unable to let go about a situation and or a feeling. This is anger, this is jealousy, a lot of things. You know, you can look it up online if you want a better, um, Signification or like you know, significant of uh, codependency. I might, if I have the chance, I'll put it right here so you guys can actually pause it and read it if you guys don't want to go find it. But you know, that's what I mean about codependency because some people go like very uh, upset with me, like, oh, I'm not codependent, like, I don't mean it like that. I mean it about many other layers of what codependency could be. And like I said before, with the ace of coins it's just a different name discs this is actually a potential a new potential are actually worth investing in something that is very important and something that feels very stable this is like a whole new relationship but the five of ones be careful with the snakes what i'm seeing here is like other people will talk about the situation keep in mind that relationships are about you and them not a whole crew so again do not let anybody get in the foundation that you may create with this individual and with the seven of ones right here do not let words and other people's opinions hurt you as at the end of the day you are the one who decides who to love who to go to home to home or who to go to sleep like you know to bed with you know like that's what i'm pretty much what they're saying like you got to actually create thicker skin it's not about how you react it's more about how you you know um let's see I forgot the word damn it let me think about the word it's about how you proceed with the situation you know remember some people will tell you things just to cause a reaction and just because you don't cause a reaction sometimes you're winning because they will get mad at it and I know this is like a random thing that I just said but some people around you just want to tell you are you sure like are you sure you want to do this again are you sure they are worth it like put a lot of doubt in your energies because some people like that you know people don't like other people being happy so whatever decision you make is not about me it's not about terrorists about you but if you do decide to do so it seems to be that it will pay off I see somebody could be a Pisces as well wanting to get in and talk about you and them and like I like I, I see like shady energies I see like very uh, malicious energy I see talking shit you know so do not listen to that person uh, do not let them take your peace this could be somebody who's near you and if it's not nobody it could be if you ever see the comments it might be somebody in the comments I always tell people hey why would you even take advice of people who cannot even afford a photo in their in their profile you know like don't go with that And let's see, let's see what is the final message for you, Sagittarius. Hmm. I'm liking this. So we got the six of wands in reverse. We got the ace of wands, the magician. We have the four of disc. We have the sun, the princess of wands. I forgot to say that. And the king of swords, over all energy. Four of swords at the bottom. So look at this. Heartbreak deception disappointment you know um being super super heartbroken is completely over it seems to be that you're gonna have closure with this emotions right here also this this card right here reminds me of the bad bunny uh new album i don't know if you guys like bad bunny or know it i don't know somebody may like it but it reminds me of that um I don't know I don't, I don't i don't i know i don't get a lot of spanish uh viewers but if somebody out there uh, is called the song that i just got from that photo is the ojos bonitos from bad bunny you can look it up on spotify if you want to actually look it up you can always find the lyrics in english so you can know what the song says so in my is this is the song that is actually popping in my head here right now so and I don't listen to him as much and it's like random but i know i know but anyways the purpose was to actually sometimes we think that things are not worth investing sometimes we think like you know it it is over so i should not look to it ever again that is not the purpose sometimes things are worth taking a second look or taking a second chance for you know sometimes for of course it comes from your heart not anybody else's you know what i'm saying so whatever you do hold on guys make sure that it's like something that you desire to do 
what the ASO wants right here this is something that has a lot of potential if you see this reminds me of the Phoenix so from the ashes we rise you know it doesn't mean because he ended it's not worth investing like I said before um, so that is one of the things another thing is that now it seems to be that you both have all the tools that you guys need you guys have been provided this with lessons with experiences by the universe and with the ASO ones right here it, it's up to you guys if you guys want to take this a third or fourth step with it but at the end of the day it seems to be that this has like I said before a huge potential to work out it seems to be that you got your power back you are sure what you want what you deserve and i feel like you both have this energy of royalty energy so i feel like you both exactly know what each other wants and deserve so it seems to be that this could be like a power couple kind of thing now with the four of disc and the sun yeah they're popping in out of the blue with a new beginning and it seems to be with the um butterfly right here is actually a transformation so you'll see that so it was most for them to transform because they had a lot of things that they need to fix so that's pretty much what was for and it was done now with the king of swords right here now this person became a person that you can trust a person who actually is able to manage their emotions and desires is somebody that says what they really really want to say they don't hold back they don't lie there's no no wishy-washy energies there's no like shadiness energy so it's all good and at the end of the day is for you guys to not let others or situations just dis uh disrupt disrupt your peace okay disrupt your peace by the way a whole new beginning of a new transformation i mean a, a new foundation transformation so an opportunity to create a new a new foundation guys so it is up to you if you actually want to invest or not so let's see let's see what kind of energies we have in you know emotions we have in this reading today Hesitant, hurt, expectation, irritated. So I feel like this could actually become coming from your energies. But again, expectations, what it says is, is it easier to make a request or ask for what you desire? Expectation can lead to disappointments. So this is what exactly what I was going to say. When we expect things from other people, half of the time we're going to be disappointed because people do not owe, they, we do not, own people and they don't owe us anything so at the end of the day whatever you want instead of expecting it just talk about it and with what they have to say with what you got to say you guys get in the middle and you guys will find a middle or happy medium and how you guys can actually get what you desire but never expect it just ask for it because once again it could lead for disappointment and the car says so hesitant hesitant it comes in your energies which is you don't know exactly what is that you want or what is the best thing to do and also is because it comes from hurt because you feel like you're powerless because you feel like it could show them being vulnerable and you don't want to get hurt again this is the way for you to cope and it's totally understandable but for you to get out of it for you to actually say hey let me get out of the what if let me figure out what they wanted let me figure out why they did it at least there's a need of having a communication which is coming so instead of like closing the door right away i will highly recommend you to at least listen to them for you to know what's the best decision okay and irritated i know it makes you mad i know you may be rolling your eyes but at the end of the day they're telling you the best way to get out of the situation if that is what you want is to listen to what they have to say let's see what is the time frame that they're coming here we got eight months sometimes before february then we got if you can constant, consistently stay in alignment and feel happy daily. The time frame is within a month. And keep in mind that these are all uh, general, so you may uh, have a different time frame, but those are the strongest time frame that popped in your reading. Now, let me get the initials of the possible person. Keep in mind that this could be their first, last, middle name, even a nickname, and not, not all the letters will belong to the same person. Not necessarily, okay? Let's see. We got F as in Frank, Z as in Zebra, U as in Umbrella, Amazon Michelle, KS and KFC, um, S and Sam, H and Hamburger, BS and Boy, PS and P, uh, Peter, Q, S and Queso, and then I S and E. And at the bottom, we got V S and Victor or Victoria or Vicky, whatever you want to name it, you know? Because some people be like, you say the same names, bro. It's just the initials that matter. <laughs> so now, 
before I go, I'm going to give you a message from your angels. Which one should I go? Okay, I'm going to go with this one here. I'm going to go with this one here. Let's see what did your angels have to say. Let's see what is the message they have to say for you. So we have romance. Like I said before, there's a new romantic beginning for you. And then we have take action. I was going to say take a chance. And at the bottom right here, this situation will improve. So at the end of the day, they're saying, they're confirming what I just said. So this is the end for you. So you Terrius, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, like and subscribe. And if you want to win a free reading giveaway, I always, um, I always offer before I start. <laughs> I always offer a free reading for uh, all my followers every time I, my channel gains a thousand subscribers. So right now, uh, my channel needs some numbers to get to 10K. Once my channel gains 10K, I will be hosting this uh, reading giveaway. I always choose three lucky subscribers and I will actually add a fourth one. The fourth lucky subscriber is going to have a live video chat reading with me on Instagram only. So if you want to be considered, make sure to subscribe to my channel as well as this um, Saturday, I believe, I'm sorry, this Sunday the 19th 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. CST I'm gonna have a live where I'm gonna be offering a free reading card for all my subscribers so if you want to be considered or if you want to participate make sure to tune in this Sunday 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. CST which is Wisconsin time so again love you guys so very much you guys have an amazing day I most likely show you my social media so if you want to follow me on Instagram I always follow you back I also have TikTok which I offer other stuff over there so if you love tarot readings and you love free things you want to actually make sure to follow me on t um, my TikTok, Instagram, and always here as I'm always giving back because I love doing that. Uh, with that said, keep in mind that I do not message and I do not request to be messaged when it comes to free readings. Uh, I don't offer free readings anywhere else unless it's mentioned and posted on my YouTube. I know when it's the winner situation of the giveaway, it depends, it's different, but keep in mind that I will make sure to say, hey, this is happening. Why am I saying this? Because there's a lot of fake accounts on TikTok that are pretending, of course, to be me and they're requesting you guys to message them and requesting money. I don't request money. I don't request you to inbox me. I don't request anything. I don't message first. So keep in mind that those are not me. Uh, my official account is the screenshot that I showed you guys. Please be careful with those scammers. Don't fall for that. And if that were to happen, make sure to report and block those scammers as they don't deserve your time of day. Okay. I love you guys so much. Be careful and you guys have an amazing day. Bye.